friend Jeff Dykeman on site here at Magna Golf Club at Aurora for the PGA Championship of Canada. And Jeff, I guess we missed the email and uh, we wore the same shirt again, didn't we? It was a good couple of this kind of stuff, eh, Chris? The, the, the beautiful sponsors from uh, TaylorMade Adidas uh, helped us out with the uniforms. We look great, I think, but uh, you're right, we look exactly the same, which is funny. Well, uh, my wife actually emailed me this morning and said, you guys look great um, and I feel great. So, uh, Jeff? Let's talk about what an awesome, awesome venue we have here. What a treat for everybody. I mean, the sponsors, the players, uh, you know, big shout out here for uh, Rob Roxborough, the PGA yeah. professional, who's uh, the GM here. And without Rob, this wouldn't, this wouldn't happen. They're dying to have an event here. The gates are open for the first time ever. Yeah. Uh, it's, as most people know uh, by now, it's, it's a pretty uh, high-end private facility. and. The gate's always closed at the front there. It's open for one week, uh, the first event they've ever held. It's us, we're happy to be here at the National Championship, and uh, this place is pretty magical. It's a very magical place. Uh, all the players are just raving about it. They all are going bonkers from the moment they drove through the gates, and now on the golf course, you just can't believe how perfect it is. I think the quote of the, uh, the yeah. week so far was Brad Clapp, who said uh, he pulled in here, he's watching, hit a few balls, and kind of walking over to the clubhouse and said, my cheeks hurt so much, they hurt <laughs> from me smiling already. I haven't even played yet, so that kind of shows you where, where, the, where the boys are at. Now, uh, Brad Clapp is just one of 64 uh, guys here competing for the P.D. Ross Trophy. I mean, he's one of the guys who can win it, but you know what? Any one of these guys can win it this week. You know what, Chris? The theme in our office when guys come in and check in are talking about how numbers don't matter. I know it's just kind yeah. of a cliche, guys talk about that, but I think that they believe it. I think that they know if they're playing a 46 seed, I and mean, so be it looking at Roger Beal right now teeing off in the pro am behind us. And Roger Beal is ranked, you know, 26, 27 or so, but this yeah. guy can play golf, and uh, he only gets to play twice to, to get any points because he's away working in Barbados. So sure. there's a lot of guys that are disguised in certain spots, and uh, certainly Roger is one of those guys. Now, if uh, you're looking for a sleeper pick, Roger might be the guy because he's used to this heat. Um, yeah. We really noticed yesterday some of the guys who are from out of province kind of struggled with the humidity and the heat. Um, so we'll ha sort of have to see how that plays going forward. Now, Jeff, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, what kind of cool things we have on site this week. You know what, so far it's been great, Chris. I mean, uh, Team Ag, uh, Team Adidas Golf has really stepped it up. It's been kind of neat to be close to home by their head yeah. office. And, you know, players getting the, the, the balls with their with their seed number on it, which is really cool. Whether yeah. they play with it, whether they put it on their mantle, whether they put it back in their office at their own club, it's, it's kind of a neat thing. A gift card to their, to their head office from their Adidas store. And uh, the ID Zero truck behind us. I mean, that's really cool stuff. So, uh, Magnus pulled out a few stops, which is, which is kind of neat. Uh, Mr. Lou's been great with their big pro-am today. And, uh, should be a pile of money going to prostate cancer. Yeah. So I mean, everyone's everyone's doing it and doing it well. And really, I think Magnus started that because when you come here, you have to do things big and bold. And we're all kind of following suit. Now uh, let's 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 try and play the uh, prediction game here. Let's pick two guys each. Um, who are you going to take? Two guys. Well, this is a tough question, Chris. So we don't like picking favorites, uh, you and I, but. Um, it's tough. I mean, you look at the brackets and who's playing what and what's yeah. going on. Everyone's talking about the golf course being a big golf course, and it's going to matter if you can smash it. And of course, Brad Clapp, who is playing well, he can smash it. But I think guys that can chip and putt are going to do it pretty, yeah. pretty well too. So, you know, I, I don't want to go through all the brackets, all the names, sure. but I think you know guys like you know, the, the Levex of the world and the Danny Kings sure. and the Mike Belbins and Brian McCansis, he's playing like it's 19 or 19, 2006, yeah. and which was a big year for him, right? So I think. A lot of guys coming in hot. I think we had it on our Twitter feed that there's about eight or nine guys who've won an event re recently. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't pick a guy, but yeah. those are a few guys I would throw it in a hurry. Yeah, I'm not going to fall into my trap either. I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say the two stars this week will be uh, Magnet Golf Course, obviously, yeah. and uh, the weather. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, anybody in those top ten, I mean, they're, they're guys that are players to watch. they got a target on their back, and, you know, Brim Perry's there playing well as well. So uh, I don't know where you go with all these numbers, but I think, you know, the RBC can't open spot. Guys know about it. They know about it, and it's 60 points on the line for the winner. Anybody in the top ten can have a chance at it, depending on what happens, but I, but it's it's going to be fun to watch. And You know McCann wants it. You know Belvin wants it. You know King wants yeah, it. I mean, and King's from here. And it's tough to win at home. We sure. don't have that very often. That. But uh, it's pretty cool to hear members and staff just yelling out at Danny and way to go, like, you know, good yeah. luck type thing. So it's going to be a fun week.